Hey what's everyone, it's Shadow. Welcome to today's video where I'll be letting UFC 5 decide who will win between Sean O'Malley vs. Cheeto Vera 2 in the upcoming UFC 299. So I'm going to let two legendary AI fighters go ahead to decide the outcome of this upcoming fight. I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, I've seen uh, Sean O'Malley's and Cheeto Vera's last few fights. And I know that they have fought before and I know Sean O'Malley's coming off of a pretty exciting win uh, over Aljamain Sterling with, that, with the clean knockout. Uh, that was pretty. That was a pretty exciting fight, and then Cheeto Vera is coming off a win against Pedro Munoz. So I think it's going to be a pretty interesting rematch. But first, we're going to see what UFC Five thinks is going to happen. All right, fight is beginning. Let's see what UFC Five thinks is going to happen. There's a, well, there's a good leg kick from uh, Sean O'Malley, but then there's a nice uppercut from Cheeto Vera. Cheeto Vera lands a leg kick. Sean O'Malley's got to be careful with those. Well, I think that actually, I thought the the head kick was initially blocked, but I think it actually got through. I do think this match is going to be more of a stand-up match, so we'll see. Oh, that was a good leg kick that O'Malley got through. He tried to launch a combo, but Chido Vera did a good job of uh, defending it. Uh, uh, O'Malley tried to go for the spinning head kick, but was blocked from uh, Cheeto. Cheeto lands another good leg kick, but then uh, O'Malley landed a nice body shot. I think the, the Cheeto did a good job of checking that leg kick from O'Malley. That was a good step back from O'Malley. Oh, that was a nice hook that landed from Cheeto or O'Malley. Oh, another leg kick got through from O'Malley. It's a good front leg kick. Oh, Vera, uh, Cheeto with a good hook. Oh, Cheeto lands a nice head kick. That was good. Checked, checked by O'Malley. Follows with a good, uh, good hook. Another good leg kick from O'Malley. Oh, good step back from O'Malley. Good front body kick. Got about almost three minutes left in the round now. Oh, that was a double head kick. And was, the first one was blocked, but the second one got through. That was pretty nice. And then followed by a good front kick. O'Malley seems like he's got his kicks going right now. Another kick. Knocks him down. Clinched up. Delivers a good knee. Followed him. Ends with an uppercut. Oh, a good step back from Cheeto. But then O'Malley lands a nice body shot. Oh, O'Malley lands a nice straight. A good leg kick from Cheeto. Followed by a good leg kick from O'Malley. Good body kick from O'Malley. Oh, that was nice. A flying knee from uh, O'Malley. That landed cleanly. And another nice good body kick. Oh, but a good hook lands from O'Malley. Ooh, nice job working the body. Seems like O'Malley is doing a good job of working head, body, and legs, throwing in a leg kick every once in a while, but doing a really good job of mixing it up with the head and body so far. Alright, less than two minutes left in the round now. Oh, it looked like that uh, spinning leg kick got through. That was a good uh, uppercut that landed from uh, Cheeto. Oh, that was a good head kick to lands from Cheeto. Both fighters seem to land some pretty decent hits so far. Oh, the clinched up right now. Oh, Cheeto got a good hit in. O'Malley lands a good leg kick. That's a good side step from O'Malley. Oh, O'Malley lands a nice hook. Another good side step from O'Malley. Less than a minute left in the round now. But oh, Cheeto lands a good uh, body kick. Oh, Cheeto tried to hit the land the overhand, but just blocked from O'Malley. But he did land a good body kick, though. 
Well, um, Chiquito lands a nice strike. Then follows up with the uppercut. It was good, pretty nice. Oh, another knockdown from. Not really. That was not a like a like a knockdown where it was like he was hurt, but just the timing on it knocked him down. Oh, but Cheeto lands a nice combo. Oh, O'Malley did a nice job of kicking the leg, kicking and delivers two head kicks. That was nice. Oh, that was a nice hook to land it from O'Malley. That cracked him. All right, end of the round. Uh, I think it, I mean it was a, I think it was kind of a close round. It was both fighters landed some good hits, but I gotta give that round to O'Malley. It just seemed like he was landing bigger hits and like have more volume. Uh, I I think I would I would give it to him. I, I think it was pretty close though. Like I said, both fighters do, doing good hits, but that was a nice flying knee, but. I do think O'Malley was just outworking him a little bit, so I give him the first round so far. But we'll see how it continues in round two. I think I think this whole fight's gonna be more of the same, just like the first round. Let's see round two. Cheeto comes out wildly swinging, but missed by a lot. That's a nice straight that lands from uh, Cheeto. A straight, a good straight land from O'Malley. Oh, there's a good front, front leg kick from uh, Cheeto. A good side step from O'Malley. Oh, but then good ducking from Cheeto. Oh, uh oh, this could be bad for Cheeto. This could be really bad. Okay, okay, he. he he might be out of danger right now. That was nice from O'Malley though, but now O'Malley's on top with four minutes. Ew. See, curious to see what he's gonna do from this position. Right now he's just kind of working him some, but n not doing a whole lot of damage from this position. Oh, but uh, Cheeto could be looking for a submission here. Oh, he, he reverses it, gets on top. Yeah, I think O'Malley's just gonna have to try to get up here. Alright, they get up. Immediately come up swinging. Just out of range of that body kick. This is a, a little... A leg kick from Cheeto. You know, they both might be a little tired out. Cheeto caught him, caught him lagging with that spinning, or with, when O'Malley attempted the spinning back fist. That was a good straight from O'Malley that lands. Ooh, good body kick from O'Malley. That was a good straight from uh, Cheeto. Oh, good leg kick from Cheeto. You know, Cheeto's doing a, a good job of working the leg right now. Going in leg kicks every once in a while. A nice body kick from uh, Cheeto. Another good front leg kick lands from Cheeto. Yeah, uh, less than two minutes left in the round, though. Both fighters landed, got nice straight. Oh, that was a nice timing from Cheeto. Not gonna know Mally down. Good front body, front, front body kick from uh, O'Malley. Oh, that got through. Oh, that he's uh, he's wobbled. O'Malley had him wobbled. 
Well, well che Cheeto's pressed up against the fence, but O'Malley's not pursuing. Oh, Cheeto lands a nice hook. Oh, but O'Malley lands with a nice roundhouse to the head. A nice strike from O'Malley. Oh, but that, that knee landed from the body from Cheeto. Oh, another good head kick from O'Malley. Less than a minute left in the round now. This is starting to look pretty dangerous from Cheeto. Or for Cheeto. Oh, but uh, Ch uh, Cheeto tried to work that leg again, but O'Malley did a good job blocking it this time. Uh, good, good dodge from Cheeto. Oh, good head kick connects from O'Malley. Oh, but O'Malley got caught again with the uh, when trying to do the the back the spinning back fist. He gets pressed up against the fence. He lands a good leg kick though. Oh, Cheeto with the nice head kick. Good side step from O'Malley. Oh, nice hook. I think I believe that was a hook from Cheeto. It cracked O'Malley. Okay, that was a that was a really good round. That was very close. I feel like they both had really big moments. Uh, O'Malley was dazed, and Cheeto was dazed. Uh, O'Malley did he he got the hit that knocked Cheeto down, and then he got on top of him, did some ground and pound. But then Cheeto did do, the, do a good job of reversing it and then getting on top. And then whenever they stood up, it was I think I believe that Cheeto was doing better. Then O'Malley on the feet, and then it like shifted, and O'Malley started doing better than Cheeto, and sorry he started landing some big blows, and that's whenever he dazed them. But then like the last minute of the round, Cheeto flipped it where he was doing pretty good on the round. So honestly, that oh, I mean I don't know how I'm gonna score that round. That round was really close. But let's see, I'm gonna have to revisit that later. Round three started. <laughs> they both exchanged body kicks there, that's funny. A flying knee from Amalia did connect, but not as good as the first one that he did in the first round. A good leg kick from Cheeto. Oh, that body kick. Uh, that was a knockdown from uh, that Cheeto did. It was a good head kick that got through from O'Malley. Okay, that was just a wild body kick attempt from O'Malley. Oh, that head kick got through from Cheeto. From body kick from Cheeto. Oh, good leg kick from Cheeto. Well, Cheeto landed a nice one, two. Then follow lands lands a nice hook. Cheeto lands another nice hook. Oh, that head kick got through, but that's got Cheeto dazed. Like Sean O'Malley's kind of got him pinned against the uh, fence of the cage right now. He lands a good leg kick. Lands a nice front body kick. Oh, but that that last hook got through from Cheeto. Cheeto lands another leg kick. Oh, when he lands a nice hook that cracked O'Malley. Oh, he lands a nice front head kick. Cheeto seemed to have recovered nicely so far. Landed some big shots after he's got dazed. Oh, good leg kick from O'Malley. 
O'Malley lands a nice overhand. That was a good front body, front leg kick from O'Malley. Oh, nice head kick from O'Malley. And I think like both of these fighters are doing a good job to continually connect and land these uh, these big hits, big shots and stuff. Seems like they're not really getting off much of combos. Usually when they try to fire off combos, they've gotten blocked. Or they've like, done a good job of stepping back, but they are finding uh, opportunities. Good leg kick from O'Malley. Oh, O'Malley's got him, got Cheeto's dazed again. Less than a minute left. Good front body kick from Cheeto. Oh, that another head kick lands from O'Malley. Cheeto's dazed again. I don't think Cheeto's gonna survive this. He got this is like what the second time he got dazed in this round. He got dazed the last round. It is not looking good for him right now. And O'Malley to land another front leg kick. Oh! Oh, Cheeto, he can finish this. Oh. Nope. I mean, I thought, at first I thought Sean was out. And then I thought uh, that he was going to end it with the ground and pound, but not quite. Man, I thought it was over for a second. Yeah, I think I, I think I do think I'm gonna have to give that. Even though uh, Cheeto ended in a big way, I do have to give that Sean the, that Sean. I have to give that round to Sean O'Malley because I feel like for most of the round he was uh, landing big shots. He had like, he dazed Cheeto two two different times. Uh, so I do think I have to give him that round. And I do think I will give him round two as well. Just because, I mean, it's just, round two is such a close round. I can see it going either ways, but I think the, whenever I think about it, I think I remember him having more big shots and stuff. So I would think he's up three right now. But if that is, if Sean, if Cheeto can survive because he's already been hurt a couple of times, dazed a couple of times. But then again, O'Malley's now been dazed once and or uh, twice now. So it could be pretty interesting. Oh, oh, he's not out. Okay, I thought he was out. That was a great head kick from the landed from Sean O'Malley, and I thought that knocked Ch uh, Cheeto Vera out. This is the second time I thought somebody's been knocked out. It just looked like he got knocked out because I looked like he just like went limp, but I guess not. That was nice one two from uh Sean and then he lands another another head kick. Seems like both of these fighters are slowing down, which I can definitely imagine because they're going into four rounds and they've been both of them have been really active for all the rounds. And they've both been the hurt. Oh, that was a good uh, check from uh, Cheeto, and then he lands his own good leg kick. Sean is just kind of like hobbling backwards on the fence. Oh, another head kick lands. Man, uh, Sean O'Malley like seemed like he landed a lot of head kicks in this fight so far. O'Malley lands another big overhand. 
There's another leg kick. Got a nice knee to the body. There's another leg kick. And he does a good job of defending those uh, blows from uh, Cheeto. Sean lands another leg kick. Another head kick. All that knocked uh, Cheeto down, but he gets right back up. Yeah, there was a warning from the ref to work, and then O'Malley says okay, and then gets a big overhand to knock uh, Cheeto down. Oh, that was a nice one to the lands from Cheeto, though. Good body kick lands from O'Malley, but then that was a nice hook from Cheeto. Oh, he's Bruh, I swear he went limp. I swear he was limp. But he eats another leg kick. Well, it's like three times that I swear they've gone like limp. And the, the game's like, no, they're not out. Another leg kick from O'Malley. Got about less than a minute left in the round now. I think both of these two fighters are really tired. Which understandably so. Oh! Okay. That time it was actually a knockout. That was a front head kick knockout that just folded them. Actually folded them this time. I, fig I figured that was coming soon because it was just... I mean, it was like almost every time Cheeto was getting, getting a big hit or a big kick lands... He was like getting knocked down, so I figured it was a matter of time. But that was still was still clean though. All right, so it looks like UFC Five has Sean O'Malley winning in the fourth round by a knockout. I do see this as a definite possibility. I think I think it's going to be a close fight, but I think I do think Sean O'Malley is going to win. Whether it's uh, going to decision and winning the decision or getting a uh, TKO. I do think Sean O'Malley is going to be able to win. I do think it's going to be more of a stand-up fight, and I think it can be similar to uh, the the fight in here. But I do think that Sean O'Malley is going to walk away as a champion. But that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe for free to drop your prediction down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to y'all later.